So I was going to do a video all about how to disassemble space eggs and it was really really boring so instead I'm just gonna show off kind of a, a, a new feature in the latest version of source gen um, if you're not familiar with space eggs it it looks like this um, I'm gonna just pop that in the debugger and shove it out of the way for a moment um, so it's got lots of animated stuff lots of colorful things flying around <clears throat> let's say you're disassembling the code and you get here so you've got this pretty standard draw bitmap on the high res screen function it gets the base address it sticks them into the thing that's going to do the writes um, it's got a source address that got set up somewhere else um, copies a couple of bytes and then it just walks through the bitmap source um, one byte after another um, and while it's doing that it you know, loops around updates the high-res base address as necessary uh, and so on and so it's got start row start column end column and row um, pretty straightforward stuff but you know this is this is kind of the end of the story um, something is calling it um, and you need to know what exactly is being drawn so you know what what the thing is that it's trying to draw um, so it's you know it's getting a value from here and it's using it as an index into these two locations which are then um, storing the value as the the source for the data um, and it's taking the start column adding six to it making that the end column start row nine so it's six bytes wide nine bytes high is what you come away with from this um, but you know what's what is this thing um, so if we go and look at these two locations um, you know this is the the high byte high byte and low byte of an address uh, let's turn the data scanner off so it's not all chunky um, so this is um, adder low and thing adder high I'm sticking question marks on it so I'm not entirely sure what it is um, one thing that we might have learned along the way is that this holds a value from 0 to 6 um, seeing 7 come up is pretty common on Apple II high res stuff because each byte more or less holds seven pixels um, so having seven things you know it, it suggests that whatever we're looking at is uh, um, has been has been shifted has been pre-shifted so it lines up on, on different different slots but um, let's take a look at what we got so um, we want seven and seven don't actually care about the eighth slot uh, so we do a um, gonna do an address table um, so they are split because the high and low are in different locations um, this gives us a nice set of addresses um, matches up with what we expect uh, so all good so let's go and take a look at what we've got over here um, I'm cheating a little bit making sure that I'm not doing completely the wrong thing um, okay so this is where the address table took us um, and what we saw before um, if we leap back a couple of times and go back to this part is it's six across nine high So we create a visualization set and we say high res bitmap and we say what does it look like if it's six across and nine high? Well, that looks an awful lot like the player ship. With one important exception, of course, because the high res screen is funky, there's this odd even rule um, where the colors flip 
on alternate bytes. And so you have to make sure you get the whole odd even thing right. Um, so we've set the first column odd. Um, now we've got blue on the outside, blue on the outside, so that's all good. Um, so this is player ship stage one. And it's the first of six entries. Um, and we know that, well, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so that was the first one. Here's the second one. And as we can see, it's the same thing, but it's a little bit shifted over to the side. And if we use the power of video editing to do all of them quickly, voila. Um, and then we select the entire range. So there's seven groups, one ship per group. We'll densely pack them so that they're all much, much smaller on the screen. Um, we can see that we've got a ship that looks like it's just kind of sliding towards the right. And if we really want to take a look at that, we can create an animation. We'll just stick the whole set in there. Put it at about 200. And so now, we give this, you know, helpful names like player one zero. And then we can see the thing that's accessing it down here. He gets his nice label. We can now call this player ship stage one. Oh, we should probably put the word low on the end. And high on the end and go back and see all the different places that access him and now he's got the right name. Um, and now we can call this draw player ship one. And it's just it's a whole lot easier to do when you can actually see the thing that's being drawn because now you know it's not an egg, it's not a bullet, it's the ship, the first stage of the ship and it's that ship shifted seven times um, and it just makes your life a whole lot easier. Anyway, that is it for this video.